If you want to go in guns blazing, I don't blame you. Also, Dark Corners is a collection of uh, a very good, healthy selection of multiplayer maps. We also have War Machine, which is a classic map that's coming back in Dark Corners. We have a lot of locust architecture maps, such as uh, Ruins. And then we also have a great map called Nowhere, which is kind of uh, literally out in the middle of nowhere, kind of an abandoned uh, truck stop and whatnot in the middle of the desert. Who's next? And you can play it two ways. You can go in guns blazing, as they usually do, or you can play it a little stealthy if you want. And there's achievements for playing it both ways. I like playing a little bit of stealth. It's not like beat you over the head, get seen by one guy, fail stealth. It's uh, you go in, you try and be sneaky, if you get seen, all hell breaks loose, you go to the next section, the stealth resets, and then you can try it again. And it's, uh, it's just cool to see the guys in that kind of armor out of their typical outfit, and it's cool to see the locusts kind of meandering about their environment, it's not just running at you with their guns blazing. If you look at a normal map pack for us, there's like three to four maps for 800 points, you're getting seven maps for 1,200 points, which is a fair deal. And so really think about the bonus content, that additional chapter, it's really just kind of a freebie. And we also, for the first time, are doing a little bit of single player downloadable content. That's a section that was in Gears 2 originally, one up on the cutting room floor, and it's Marcus and Dom wearing Theron armor, basically trying to infiltrate the Locust stronghold. On the day we release Dark Corners, we're doing double XP on the Dark Corners playlist, we're doing double XP in Horde. So, you know, we're really about just sort of keeping the game going. Now we have the line of comic books that's issue nine just came out this week. We've got the novel on July 28th, the same day as Dark Corners, the second book comes out, Jacinta's Remnant, which is really cool because it literally picks up from the moment the game ends. Like, when you open the Jacinta's Remnant book, page one is Cole looking out the helicopter door at the sinking city. Like, it's literally the next thing in the, you know, credits roll, read the book. NECA's got the action figures. I think by holiday, we're gonna have over 30 plus action figures at that time. Look at this franchise and, and all that it encompasses now, it's really gratifying, you know, it's just, it's awesome. I mean, the guys who come up and challenge you about your own franchise and they know more than you do and they're like, well, what about this detail and what about this thing on their armor? You get an active reload, you're like, chink. <laughs> they're really grateful for the game and they're really excited about meeting you and getting to play and it's just, it gets what, that's what gets you going, you know, that's what you're trying to do because at the end of the day, you're there creating entertainment and I think that's one of the things is you have to move from this idea of like, I'm just making a game for me, so you have to realize that you're creating entertainment, you're creating fun for others. Woo! Yeah! To have people come to you with that passion, it just, it's what keeps you going.